Hello everyone once again, this is Rob and welcome back to Media Awareness and another first reaction video. Before I continue, however, a quick reminder, the fundraiser continues. For those of you unaware, I am a disabled individual and I use a motorized wheelchair slash scooter all day every day for my independence and I need your help. My insurance will not cover anything regarding my scooter. They view it as a, quote, luxury item, end quote. Therefore, I'm reaching out to you, my YouTube community. There is a spot fund account link below in the description directly below the video title in the description as well as in a separate section below that. It's easy to contribute, takes a few seconds, and any and all help is welcome. Uh, basically... I am a fish out of water if I do not have my scooter at, at, at my disposal. I'm unable to walk at all, and I only have use of one hand primarily. So, that being stated, I am limited in what I can use to get around my house. I can't use a regular wheelchair or any other type of scooter other than the one I have. And I have to keep it functional at its optimum level. So I am uh, gradually, and I do mean that very sincerely, gradually uh, refurbishing it uh, to the point where it is uh, without worry in, in my mind. I've already gotten bad news about my wheelchair van no longer being functional. And I do not want to be stranded in my house, uh, unable to move around my house because my scooter won't go. Um, it's bad enough I can't really go anywhere publicly without taking public transportation, which I don't have a problem doing, uh, but it was a lot more convenient and conducive to have a vehicle and, um, here to go places in. So, with all of that stated, please do what you can. I do want to extend a gracious thanks to those who have contributed thus far as your contributions have made a world of difference in my life. And the same goes for those who plan on contributing. You guys are all wonderful. I love you all. I truly mean that. You're all wonderful people. So, this is interesting. Um, I have always been into... Uh, a wide array of music in my life and and I do mean that with all due a sincerity as well I have been in, into everything from light rock uh, to heavy metal and everything in between I've had different phases along the way um, so I subscribed to this tent channel on YouTube which I highly recommend I'm going to actually recommend two of them, but that's okay. And the, the one I'm going to recommend first is called Trash Theory. And I'm going to put the link below in my description for this particular video from that channel. Uh, it is a video on a track by the Sisters of Mercy. And the track that's covered in that video, um, sort of video biography, is uh, a, a song called This Corrosion. Now, when I was watching the video, I thought to myself, well, this is interesting, because I've heard the Sisters of Mercy, I've heard of them, but I couldn't place a song in my head. And I know I'd heard them, I, whether it be in college or late in high school, I don't remember. Um, so... I watched the video and really um, the songs were really uh, instantly recognizable in my mind, but I couldn't place where, where I heard them before. So that was on Tuesday, February 20th. I watched that video. I'm not sure when it was actually posted. Then <laughs> a few days later, um, Justin Hawkins rides again posted a video, uh, sort of a revisit of a song from the Sisters of Mercy uh, called, 
um, Lucretia, my reflect, my, my, uh, Lucretia, my reflection. So, <laughs> try saying that five times really fast. Uh, so I watched Justin's introduction and the first initial part of the song, and I thought to myself, I don't want to spoil this for myself. I want to do a reaction to this sort of first reaction because I really haven't heard this song to my knowledge. Um, the Sisters of Mercy were always something that was talked about here in the States, um, especially when I was in high school, late high school and college. I want to do a reaction to Lucretia in my reflection. Um, and I'm linking Justin Hawkins' Rides Again uh, video um, below as well. And that way you could check out his revisit of this song. Uh, because it's interesting that, <laughs> you know, I have been sort of on the same page with him. And we don't even know each other. But that's okay. Justin, if you're watching, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this sort of inspiration from you revisiting Lucretia of My Reflection. So that way I could re actually visit and, and firstly experience Lucretia of My Reflection. Um, so hopefully this does not get blocked. If it does, I will do my best to edit in what I can uh, so that way it can be seen by you guys out there. Um, but with that stated, the link for the video itself will also be in the description. So there'll be several links. You'll have the link to the spot fund account for the fundraiser below the title. You'll have the link for the Trash Theory video on um, uh, Sisters of Mercy, uh, This Corrosion. And below that, you'll have the Justin Hawkins Rides Again video link uh, for the um uh his reaction or revisit of the track itself so yeah it, it's there's gonna be a lot going on in the description you'll be able to follow i'm sure and of course below all that you have my contact information for facebook as well as email and uh, in addition to that uh the amazon media awareness wish list that i don't think anyone actually looks at <laughs> Um, my Patreon page, which I keep forgetting actually exists, and a bunch more. There's a lot of links, but I want to get on with this and, and get on with this reaction and, uh, see what I think, finally, at 52 years old, um, of the Sisters of Mercy, something I probably should have been listening to when I was in high school in the 80s, but... I had only really caught on to uh, uh, a select um, what would be considered at the point in time obscure or alternative bands. And interestingly enough, Trash Theory has reintroduced me to many of those bands. Echo and the Blame Men, um, Susie and Banshees, just to name a couple. And they are bands that I have always loved and uh, there's some amazing bio, bios on the Trash Theory channel. So do check that out. And do check out Justin Hawkins Writes Again channel. Because Justin Hawkins writes again. And he has some great reaction videos. Some great interviews. And um, really insightful gentleman. Really intelligent. And I, I really like what he does. But without further ado, let us experience, hopefully, for the first time, Justin, uh, yeah, Justin, <laughs> um, the Sisters of Mercy, Lucretia, my reflection, and I'll be back after this with my assessment.
Definitely ahead of its time. Love the bass line. I know it was something that Justin Hawkins mentioned at the beginning of his uh, video. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I'm going to watch that after I, I do I film this. Um, I wanted to not spoil the song for myself. So I stopped it as soon as I heard the really cool bass line. But it is a really cool repeating bass line all throughout the song. And the song really... Okay, lyrically, it's it's really interesting, and there's a lot of depth to the lyrics, and um, I, I'm very impressed with the phrasing and the uh, the composition of it. Um, the production is really amazing as well. It does sound very 80s, but at the same time, it doesn't. And, I, and the reason I say that is because um, Trent Reznor at Nine Inch Nails was using some of these same sounds um, early on with um, Nine Inch Nails on, uh, I want to say Broken, as well as on uh, for the, uh, the yeah, Downward Spiral, um, and even Pretty Hate Machine. You know, there's a lot of similarities with the mixing and the arrange uh, the arrangements and the instrumentation. There's a lot of really clever, cleverly placed instrumentation, and the vocals are just amazing. It sounds like uh, David Bowie to some degree, and I know his sisters were influenced by David Bowie. Um, and, uh, it's hard not to be influenced by such, such a legend. David Bowie is my idol, and I have an autographed picture on, on my one, um, a wall back there from David. Um, but, uh, you know, he was a legend, and even far before his legendary status was fully recognized. He was inspiring artists that were just incredible. And this is one example of that. I am going to do a reaction to, Storm, uh, to this corrosion as well. Um, but I wanted to do the reaction to Lucretia, my reflection, first. Um, I'm glad I did because it really has a great melody and a great hook to it and uh, great sound. God, the sound is just amazing on this track and I really, really like it a lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost an infectious quality that it hits you with and it's something that you want to hear more of and I do want to hear more but I am going to uh, hold back with this corrosion uh, for a day or so at least if I can if not you'll see it very soon I do have some other things though I do want to get to in the meantime so stay tuned for the very first reaction to Dolly Parton and Pitbull doing um, 9 to 5 yeah that's going to be interesting <laughs> It's what well, that's, it's what happens here at Media Awareness. You get the crazy cats in the background that aren't acting crazy at the moment, and you get me, um, your host Rob, doing the best I can on a day-to-day -to -day basis. And with that stated, um, reminder: the fundraiser continues. The reason that the, the uh, parts are so necessary is I do not have a backup 
in case my wheelchair slash scooter fails. So if it fails, I am pretty much stuck. And I pride myself on my independence and I thrive on my independence. And I do not want to be reliant on people all day every day for my each and every need. I, I want to be as independent as I am. So your support is definitely welcome and appreciated, believe me. Once again, check out the links in the description for the video itself. The uh, Justin Hawkins Rides Again reaction as well as the uh, Trash Theory uh, bio video on Sisters of Mercy and the track This Corrosion. Really insightful stuff there. Um, and of course with Justin Hawkins Rides Again you get his unbridled enthusiasm which is truly truly astounding to behold so check that out and i will see you all again soon if you'd like me to cover anything specifically just list it in the comment section and i will do my best to react to it um once i can and in the meantime stay tuned for more reaction videos album reviews film reviews etc. I will see you all again soon. Have a wonderful morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.